out on our Gulf waters, a different kind of storm. People run for cover as opinions like clouds form. The trawler nets are empty, vacancy abounds. Nothing like it used to be before the circus came to town. It was bound to happen. It happened to be here. We're gone. I'm sure drilling is kind of bad because many of the CEOs kind of need to realize that whatever they're doing in the ocean there, if they mess up, there's no going back. That ecosystem is totally ruined once even something minor happens. I was kind of born off the coast in Alabama, so for me to see that where I lived and the economy there and the people I used to live with were affected, it kind of hits close to home. And it's really hard. Especially when all these people are losing their jobs. All, everyone's so worried about what they're eating, if it's bad, if it was like poisoned with oil, I guess. And it's just hard to see everyone go through that, especially since you're from around there. Um, it affected me, I guess, because, especially the food, because everyone here, either seafood prices were jacked up way high, or everyone was just scared, like the E. coli breakout, how everyone was so scared about whether certain food had it, certain food didn't. Um, the CEO, personally, didn't do what he could have done. He, instead of going out and saying, hey, I messed up, my bad, here, let me fix it, took him about, like, what, three months? Instead of getting it done right then, he hid behind his desk in England. So, personally to me, he didn't step up to what he had messed up. And I guess economically, I mean, our food industry went down for a while because of that seafood increase, especially in the prices. And like I said, everyone was so scared. Everyone was so scared to buy seafood. And then the tourism, everyone, because I live on Tybee now, everyone came here instead of going to Florida, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Texas, because there was oil on the beaches. Golf is in my body. The golf is in my soul. I wish like you that I could stick a wine cork in that hole. Anger makes us doubtful, while fear can cloud the view. I, for one, don't think we've done the best that we can. It was bound to happen Where greed and crude appear I hope that I'm around to see When the coast is clear It's the place that we all love, I wish it hadn't happened, but we'll still all be here, live until that day appears, and our coast is clear, so clear. Offshore drilling was pretty bad because it affected the ecosystem. I mean, as you probably saw, like, over the summer, all these fish dying, all these birds getting sick, sea turtles, dolphins probably too, were dying, and it was just terrible, especially from my standpoint. I'm a type of person where I don't like oil to begin with because we have such a dependency upon it, and it's just terrible to see all these creatures just dying.
I'm sure drilling was bad because many people at the time, many companies were more about like the most money rather than what's like the best for everything, what's the safest for everything. And many people didn't put it into perspective about if I mess up, this isn't just my job I might be losing, it's a complete ecosystem, it's a complete economy, and it's just everything. The world as we know it, as soon as this happened, flipped. We never had really anything like this. It killed so many animals, it ruined so many ecosystems, and even though it was a short period of time, it still left damage. It could have been longer and it would have left a lot more damage. But people nowadays really need to realize that it's not just about money. That it's also about safety, the quality, you know, everyone who's included in it. 